opened the window and in he came. And uh, I figured the guy could act, he could fly. I mean, what better thing could there be? And uh, I mean, that was about it. He, he flew into my life. I tried on a pair of uh, the um, Clark Kent glasses and um, Dick Donner said right on the spot, um, uh, I'll need you in London next week for a screen test. And they didn't have a wardrobe department yet, so somebody went out to, I don't know, Woolworths or whatever and got a uh, House Superman costume sort of off the rack, like Dr. Denton pajamas or something, you know, and uh, I, I really got a ridiculous figure. But that's an amazing thing. He put on that silly little costume at that moment, and he belonged in it. I mean, he brought that custom to life even as, 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 as inappropriate as that particular one was. When he put it on, he became Superman. But there was one problem. I looked across the set at this skinny, skinny, skinny guy, and I went, that's Superman? I was so impressed with his ability as an actor. And if he could, as he said, he would bulk up and become like I, like I was. Uh, 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 then he had it, and I trusted him. He said he would do it, and I, I believed it. Chris went straight to the gym. It was a co-ed gym, so that was fun. And I must say, my first 10 months in London, I met a lot of women who were curious to see whether or not I'd been appropriately cast as Superman. It was a pretty good time. <laughs> And he worked so hard and suddenly turned from this kind of skinny, slightly dorky. I mean, it wasn't dorky. He was very attractive, but certainly not a hunk, into the biggest tank in London. To be near him was a little bit like, hey, hi, I'm famous. Hi, nanny, nanny. It's like you're trying to just, yo, chicks, girls. <laughs> I play Popeye. Okay, okay, not a good call. Okay, maybe... But he was like, you could just see people, girl, man, everybody was just, oh, that's him. He proved he could look like Superman, but could Christopher Reeve fly like Superman? Thank you! Woo! Excuse me. That's a bad outfit! Woo! The ad campaign for the movie was, you'll believe a man can fly, and I thought it was a great honor. Because it had been very difficult to achieve convincing flying. Easy, miss. I've got you. you. You've got me. Who's got you? He went along with everything. I mean, you know, he had harnesses on and things jammed up his everything you can think of. I mean, I'd bring him down. He'd be talking like this until we took the braces off. It was terrible what we did to him. But he had the guts and the drive that he wanted to make this character work, and so he went along with anything. He knew it would work. And he was right. And he was right in the end. When I finally saw the scene, I just cried my eyes out. Superman was the number one film at the box office for eight consecutive weeks. And at the age of 26, Christopher Reeve was a movie star. 